y'all are this evening, and this is your old buddy George Jones over in the gun room. Say, listen, I was out the other day at, uh, over here in Nicholasville, and uh, the outdoor outfitter, I had never been in there. And I was dropping a vehicle off, the old white Nissan, off at the uh, uh, hot rod shop to get a new transmission put in. And at the end of the road where it was at, there was this uh, outfitter store, this mainly a hunting store, an archery store, and so forth. But they had ammo. I went in there. I'd never been in there. Uh, and I found this. Millie. I think it's Millie. It could be, it could be, I, I think they mean for that to be an M. You know, it could be a, I don't know, it could be something. It could be just Illy, Illy. But I think it's Millie. Uh, this stuff right here. And it says, small batch manufactured, whatever that means. 10 rounds, Millie, custom defense ammunitions. 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, 550 feet per second, 1 ounce slug. And then on the bottom of the box, it says, got the usual warnings in two or three different languages. And it says, Millie, MillieAmmo.com. And then... Uh, follow us on social media, so forth. It's got a Facebook logo. Manufactured in Canada. All right. And on the end of it, it's got a picture of a hog, a deer, and a predator. Or, no, it's got a picture of a coyote, not a predator. I mean, you know, predators. Okay, we have the same thing over here in uh, Buckshot. You know? 10 round box, Millie custom defense ammunition, small batch, blah, 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 12, two and three quarters, 1350, double O buck, nine pellet. All right. Yeah, normally we'd be doing this at the range, you know. Normally we would be out at the range cutting up shotgun shell, new shotgun shell, see what it looks like on the inside. But I thought, you know, I was thinking about how to do this video, and I have an editor now, so we can put two and three and four pieces together and edit it into one video, and which is something I just don't know how to do. So let's take a look at the uh, deer slug. On the bottom, it has stars and twelves, you know, on the head stamp, so it's a, you know... They didn't manufacture the shotgun shell itself in-house. All right. It has a very deep roll crimp in the end of it. Nice looking roll crimp. Nice looking slug from the end. I'm going to chop that roll crimp out of there. And we're going to take a look and see what this slug is like. See how it's wadded and so forth. I'll just take the old pocket knife right here. You can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not, not a total waste. I'll use this to make a mini shell with. What kills me is YouTube doesn't like for you to have a... Oh, what's happened here? Oh, I see. Okay, I see what's happened. Okay. Uh, beautiful looking shotgun shell, actually. Well, now that the roll crumb side of it is kind of floppy. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, looks like we got round dot powder. Got round dots of powder. Well, they all fell down in there. Round dots of powder. Well, now they're all over the place. Yeesh. Get rid of that before something bad happens. Uh, direct over powder wad, which appears to be more or less permanently attached. And the slug is of the Bernicke Rotwell design. Okay. And the wad seems to be, oh, there we go. So it's hollow base. Got a big hollow in there. Good looking. 
good-looking, well-made slug. Hollow point, hollow base. Okay. And of the Bernicke Rottweil, des Rottweil design. With a pressed on compression wad that's, I've never seen one like it. Okay. With a cup style over powder on it. Now, I'm thinking when we get to the range, these are going to shoot real good. Uh, just looking at the design, this will, the way they've made this wad looks like to me it's going to be a stabilization style wad. I don't know. It may get down under the target and look at it. It may be keyhole, but we'll see. So that's the slug. Um, it's a compression formed wad. It appears to be a compression formed wad. It has a shot cup in the bottom of it. The primer looks like a Federal. Got that crazy little sealing stuff on the end of it. It looks like a Federal. Really well made shotgun shell. Ribbed, you know. Helps you with your feeding. Alright, let's look at the old buckshot and see how it looks. Cut the top out of it. Mm, tough shell. Hard to cut open. I'm looking forward to getting the range and try these out. Okay. And there's our shot. Shot. It's a nice looking shot. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pellets in it. Consistent. Now I'm swirling these around in this bowl. Okay. And they roll pretty nice. They look like they're nice and round. They're not wobbling, you know, when they go around. So it looks like it's pretty nicely done. Nice looking. No flash on it, you know, no sprue or anything like that on the pellet. Uh, looks pretty nice. Let's see what size it actually is. It's 3.340.33, so it's uh, well within the tolerance range for uh, double alt buck. See if you can read that there. There you go. Um, good looking outfit. I mean, the, the pellets look nice. Let's see if we can get that old water out. There we go. Speared it. It has the one piece over powder and the whole wads, compression wad, what I call the green lantern wad. Okay. Uh, I call these wads green lantern wads and ones that are made like this because they kind of look like the green lantern ring. Okay. This one just happens to be green. Good compression. And that's a pretty stiff old water right there. You could probably cut that down a little bit and yeah. Well, all right. And it's loaded with a powder which is whatever the powder is, it's the same, at least appears to be the same powder as the previous shell. Well, all right. We have no idea what the powder is, and so we don't know what the, you know, it doesn't matter what the uh, volume of powder in it is. All right, let's go over to the old gun range and uh, 
to shoot a few of these through a smooth bore deer slug gun. And we'll go over it just like this. How y'all are? We're back. So, uh, we're back with the uh, Millie ammunition or Illy ammunition with the Transformers logo on it or whatever it is. We're going to find out what it is. So, the plan here is I've got four individual targets up down there, four marked pieces of uh, copier paper, and we're going to fire uh, uh, the slug against the Winchester slug and the buckshot against high price uh, double O buck Remington Express. So uh, let's get on with it. And I got a new shotgun to show you. So let's see, let's get some ear mufflers on. Let's get us a Millie slug. These are a Bernicke style slug, near as I can figure. Well, we looked at them earlier in this video. So uh, let's get a Millie slug in here and see how accurate it is at 15 yards. Not a very definitive test, but we're going to shoot some of them at 25 yards steel in a minute too. Okay, so let's try the Millie slug. That's just pretty straight. And the Winchester slug. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let's try the Millie Buck. Some of this. Millie Buck. And the Remington Buck, which is going to kick, buddy. That's all there is to it. It's going to kick. All right. That's a pretty fair comparison. Let's go down here and look at them. See what the old slug accuracy look like. Well, uh, yeah. Apparently I don't shoot the buck very well. Here's the mill slug, and here's our Winchester. So, the mill and the Winchester at 15 yards seem to shoot just about the same. Uh, I beat it in the middle, you know, of the paper, and managed to put uh, four on the mill test paper. And one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the uh, on the Winchester test page. So maybe the mill brand doesn't shoot as good. Maybe I didn't shoot it as good. But um, you know, those are nice pellets. We looked at them at the beginning of the video. You know. They look nice and and perfect and measured out good and so forth. They were, you know, weren't rough, didn't have any flashing or sprues on them. You know, let's try one more and see how it does. We've got a minute and we've got some ammo, so let's try, let's give it another chance. Maybe it was me. Okay. Let's try another one on the same target. We know it's got four in it. Okay. So... We know it's already got four in it. Okay. All right. Turn back down there and look at it.
All right, now this, this target already had four in it, okay? So it had one, two, three, four already in it. And now it's increased in volume by one, two, three, four. So, two tries. It don't look that good compared to the pattern of the Winchester double all buck nine pellet, or the, the uh, actually it was the Remington. This is incorrect, I used the Remington instead. But it, you know, the Remington looks a lot better. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're all in there on the, on the uh, Remington double alt buck, first try. And then one, two, three, four to begin with. And then one, two, three, four, the second shot. So we still haven't got nine pellets in that, in that test target and we tried it twice. So I'm saying maybe the pattern on this isn't as good. Okay, so, huh, results may vary, as they say, but it looks like the slug, looks like the slug is pretty acceptable stuff, and the buckshot doesn't look as good. Okay, but you know, if you had a wild hog looking at you at uh, 15 yards, you know, you'd be pumping them in there pretty quick. <laughs> but it looks like the Mill brand or Millie brand buckshot isn't as consistent as we would like for it to be. Uh, at the equal ranges, the Bernicke knockoff slug seems to do pretty good. It shoot right where you aim it. Okay. Uh, our test bed is the Remington 870 Magnum Express with the rifle sided smoothbore barrel, which these are improved cylinder all the way down. That's why they shoot buckshot and slugs so good. Uh, and there we are. Where are we at on time here? Well, we're getting up there pretty good. All right, then. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me no dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door. And if you don't, I'll just uh, keep right on making content for you. Uh, let's be Danny. Let's keep being careful now during these times. I'm getting I'm getting my next shot in a couple of days, and you know things are looking up a little bit, but there's still danger out there. And you know, not only the coof, but you got to worry about the goof. There's some goofs out there, and be worried about them. Uh, oh, don't worry about them, just avoid them. Join the NRA, we're really going to need them in the future. Uh, God bless everyone, and we'll see you when we see you.